everybody and a very warm welcome to the old house on this very special occasion the marriage of Adam and Emma. You are here as their closest family and friends to witness their commitment to one another and to share in their happiness and I know it means a great deal to both of them that you're all here today with them. This place in which we are met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages and if any person here present knows of a legal reason why this couple should not be joined together in marriage, it must be declared now. <coughs> and so I must ask, are you Adam Lee Harvey and do you wish to be married to Emma? Are you Emma Louise Thompson and do you wish to be married to Adam? Before you are joined together in marriage, I have a duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding nature of the vows you're about to enter into. Marriage is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. That's a definition of marriage which I must give, but I think we all realise a good marriage is much more than that. A commitment to another person is perhaps the most challenging adventure in human relationships. It requires devotion, the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when we're wrong, and the strength to put things right. On a personal level, marriage is about love and enduring commitment, which is what's brought you both here today. I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare in front of your guests and witnesses that you are indeed legally free to marry one another. So Adam will continue with that for me. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment. Why I, Adam Lee Harvey, may not be joined in matrimony to Emma Louise Thompson. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Emma Louise Thompson, why I, Emma Louise Thompson, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Adam Lee Harvey. To Adam Lee so, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard both Adam and Emma declare in front of you that they are indeed legally free and willing to marry one another. So, will you all please stand as they make their marriage vows? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. So Adam repeating these words after me, but saying it to Emma. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Adam Lee Harvey. To witness that I, Adam Lee Harvey. Do take thee, Emma Louise Thompson. Do take thee, Emma Louise Thompson. To be my lawful wedded wife. Be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Emma Louise Thompson. To witness that I, Emma Louise Thompson. Do take thee, Adam Lee Harvey. Do take thee, Adam Lee Harvey. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. We have now come to the part of the wedding ceremony where rings are to be given and received. Wedding rings are the ancient and traditional way of sealing the marriage contract we've just made. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle with no beginning and no end, and is said to symbolise an ending and everlasting love. May your rings be a daily reminder to you both of the promises you've made to one another today. Nigel, are you there? If you can just let them. Um Go ahead and take Emma's ring from the box. Putting it on her ring finger. Keeping hold of the ring, I'm going to say to Emma, 
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love. I promise to love. Cherish <coughs> and respect you. Cherish and respect you. In times of joy. In times of joy. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Um, if you'd like to take um, Adam's ring. Mm -hmm. Put it on his chosen finger. You keep in hold of the ring and say to Adam, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love, I promise to love, cherish and respect you, cherish and respect you, in times of joy, in times of joy, and in times of sorrow, and in times of sorrow, for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. All the guests will please be seated. <coughs> And so Adam and Emma, today will form a milestone in both of your lives and hopefully the memories from today will provide strength and inspiration for your future together. I'm sure I speak for everybody assembled here today in wishing you both a long, happy and successful marriage. All that remains for me to say in an official capacity is that you two are now lawfully joined together as husband and wife, united in marriage. Very many congratulations and Adam, would you like to kiss your wife? So the bride is now going to sign the schedule, so you can just talk amongst yourselves for a few moments, but no photos, just for a minute.